First tonight, the test results are in for the Kettering School District. Water samples taken from the field house negative for Legionella. This after a positive PCR test just over a week ago. Now the water was tested after several students became ill. Mamie Bond joining us now live from outside Kettering Fairmont High School. And Mamie, you spoke to experts about this. What are they saying? That's right, Adam. You remember we brought you the story first, the closure of Rouse Stadium after 36 students became ill, prompting the district to test the water supply. I know we spoke with you when the PCR test came back positive, but now we have a culture test that's coming back negative. Could you explain that to us? Unfortunately, that bacteria doesn't always grow, even if it was actually there. That could be for a number of reasons. It may be that there were too few bacteria to start with, um, or maybe that the bacteria is just in a state where it's not uh, reproducing or growing as quickly as usual, so we can't get it to grow in culture. Um, that said, we may still be able to find it on PCR, which is a more sensitive way to determine if there's any bacteria in the sample. So maybe what next steps are the district taking tonight? The district is still proceeding with caution, making sure it hyperchlorinates and also adds bacterial fil filters to all its water bottle fillers and even the ice machine. We also know that at this time, while, to while the team will be able to use Roush Stadium starting tomorrow, we're told that according to a letter that the district sent parents, according to that letter, that the water supply will not be operational. So that means your sinks will not be in use, neither will your showers. And that's because the district is still waiting on more testing. A follow-up test is being conducted right now on another sample. Now, coming up at 6 30 on Fox 45. We'll be digging more into this. How come so many students became ill? What doctors are saying about that? Back to you.